So one, one option I used to really like to use when I was fighting was uh, uh, from a tie clinch, roll and look for my strikes uh, into a takedown from that. So I have my tie clinch. When I have this clinch, you know, I can utilize my knees, I can utilize, you know, maybe a little dirty boxing. I'm looking to do is create an angle because I want to find that chin right there. So I take whatever, down, I'm, I'm right hand dominant. So this is what I want to set up as my right hand. So I just roll my elbow over the top of his head and put my hand in front of his face. And there's two reasons why my hand is in front of his face. One, so he can't see what's coming. And two, so he can't follow me back in and potentially put a body lock or shoot on me. Because where the head goes, the body follows. So we're tie clench. I'm just going to raise this elbow, come across here, we can hit. Okay? So as a, as a striker, I can roll, I can hit, I can create my distance. Now, now I'm right back where I want to be. As a wrestler, I want to get the fight back to the ground. So I go clench, I roll, I hit, and as soon as I hit, I follow, I follow back in on the legs, or I can follow into a body lock and run him into a wall. So we're here, I'm just going to run into the wall this time. I hit, grab body lock, I follow back into the wall, now I go back to my knee taps, I can go into my singles, I can go into my doubles, I can look to get them to the ground. Alright? Yeah.